Hello everyone, Charmantine here, and today I'm showing you how to install and uh, use uh, the GUFW, which is the GUI for the uncomplicated firewall built into Ubuntu. Um, so to install the extension uh, to this is just sudo apt get install GUFW. I've already installed it, so nothing will um, install for me, but you'll just use sudo up get install GUFW and um, you'll be able to install the front end. So uh, I've talked about the UFW uh, that's built into uh, Ubuntu. So for instance, if we want to add a rule or turn it on, turn it off, it would, you know, sudo UFW status. Okay, so as you can see, um, my test machine here is inactive. And then if you want to turn it on, you have W enable and then that turns it on but now if you're not familiar with the command line and you want to use a front end you can so now since I'm in the command line I'll just go ahead and run um, GUFW you have to be root in order to use this sorry you don't have to be root uh, it'll just ask for your uh, super user password Okay, and now here is the firewall. So you'll see there's a bit of a getting started um, page here. Okay, you can click on rules. If you want a specific rule, you can turn it on or off. Um, you'll be able to select, you want to allow incoming or outgoing traffic. Okay, so let's just say we want to deny. So now let's make a rule here. So you click on the plus and we can allow traffic ingress or incoming in and then you can select either all or if it's a video game or a specific network service. So say network and uh, let me see. Let's go IRC okay so we can allow IRC through the firewall this is kind of like a Windows firewall um, functionality just you know simple here okay we can do advanced so let's say we give it a name say SSH okay. we can insert this at the end of the policy allow on a particular interface so ethos zero and we want to log every time we allow it and the protocol would be TCP okay so let's say from IP any port 22 going to port any port 22 and you go ahead and add that rule and if you go in the back you'll see rule has been added okay now the best thing about this fire about the GUI is this so now that we've gone ahead we can export all of our rules or import rules that you've exported from before but also if someone does come along and s wants to check your, all your rules but they're a command line user we can see all of the commands, um, all of the rules that are still there, still in the command line. So this does not, uh, this works with the command line. So pretty much the GUI just sends commands to the um, to the terminal and uh, updates updates the the rules. Okay, so coming back into here. <coughs> we'll see some other options. We can reset all of our rules. So if you say yes, you want to reset. Okay. It will go back and now if you open up another terminal and do sudo UFW status. You'll see that the firewall is inactive and completely off. So let's say you turn it on, come back now it's on so this is a really cool simple tool for some endpoint security 
uh, and just basic desktop security um, to use a GUI to manage the firewall instead of having to do it all by command line. So I hope you found this informative. If you have any questions, please do leave me a comment in the video description or sorry, in the video comments. And of course, visit my website. That's www.shawmancini.com. Talk to you soon.